let's start talking about the equipment as in radios you need to do this. You don't need anything fancy. Any HT will work. A Balfane will work. An Explorer X1 will work. And then your Anytone will work. Even your fancy Yezu radios will work. So just anything to receive on the uh, 440 megahertz. Your more sophisticated setups, and this is probably what I'm going to recommend, going to give you the best quality of signal, is going to be using a Yagi antenna, like this Aero antenna I have. I only have the 440 elements on it just because it's easier to move through the house. We don't really need the two meter elements on this use case, but then you're going to use this to point to our Dragon capsule. Ooh, this is going to be so much fun as it goes over the sky. And again, for polarization, you just rotate it with your wrist, and then this other end is connected to your radio. This antenna will work great for you. You also have the Elk Logmarathic antenna. I do have that antenna. I haven't gotten it out and built it yet, but this one I just had readily on hand. But if you want to do a more fun and dim project, I highly recommend building your antenna. This antenna is a tape measure two meter 440 Yagi antenna. This antenna is easy to build because this is just a tape measure and you can cut it out to the correct lengths and um, this is super easy to use, super easy to build. Majority of equipment you need, you can get at Home Depot minus the cable that you need for it, but everything else is just parts you buy at Home Depot. These are super easy to build and once they're built, you simply just hook them onto the radio and that's all you need. Same thing with this, you point it at the Dragon capsule as it's going over the sky and uh, you, if for polarization, you just rotate your wrist. That easy. 